Sup guys, it's me again. It's Jake here. Well, my real name's Jacob, but I haven't been called Jacob by anyone but my parents in about 20 years. Guys, it's time we look at the real dog of the NFL. His name's Ezekiel Elliott. Um, I haven't seen any of his highlights in the past two years, honestly. If I have reacted to him and I have looked at his stats, I've forgotten. We're going to look at them again. I feel like he went to Ohio State, which is something I hold in great stead. And with that being said, let's look at his video. <sighs> Top running back. Hey, oh, boy, are we running that right down their throat? That's hard to tackle, Zeke. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Did you see the fire in Ezekiel Elliott's eyes just then? Did you see the fire I saw? Hey, oh, boy, are we running that right down their throat? He's had success in the previous drives. He knows what's gonna happen. He's telling, he's telling Zach Martin, his tackle, that we're gonna continue running down their throats. He's looking at him, he's like, yes, let's fucking do this. I'm running right behind you, mate. That's hard to tackle. <laughs> See that little, at the end there? Yeah. He's like, fuck, let's do this. When I seen him, I'm just like, man, like this guy's built like your perfect running back. If you have to design a running back, it would be Ezekiel. Mm. Just a bully. Oh. That was a hell of a rock. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That's the only running back I don't like meeting in the hole. It's a solid rock. I'm gonna tap him for sure, but I ain't trying to hit him up high. <laughs> but 25 touches a game, so you like you gotta tackle him 25 times. Does that wear on you by the end of the game? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Because he runs behind his pass, and I love that about running backs that run behind his pass and make it tougher for guys to hit him. You have to hit a back that's gonna keep on coming and keep on coming and keep on coming. Elliot, Willie, goal line, touchdown! You really have to stop this moment. I ain't even gonna try and give my commentary. I'm listening with absolute intrigue right now. Moment is so hard to do. He might seem like he only got one yard. He pushed it to four. Seems like he gets four yards every carry, no matter who's in his face, no matter what kind of hole he has to run through, and that guy is always falling forward. He can catch it out of the backfield and he can take mm -hmm. it the distance too. I mean, he's got it all. A tough customer. Guys, you're actually looking at a guy that absolutely loves running backs and all that they do. And I'm looking at who I think might just be the highest rated running back of the year. So I'm really enjoying this. Anything you can say about a good running back, man, you can say about Zeke. What people don't really realize about him is his blocking skills. Interesting. The best blocking running back in the league. Really? He's the best blocking running back in the league as well? No wonder he's so high. Ezekiel Elliott dishes out and appreciates good blocks. I see my guy. That's awesome. Kind of made the big pancake. The block there by the left guard, Joe Looney. Who's talking? Is this Ezekiel Elliott talking now? <laughs> With the big pancake. It's good blocks. I see my guy, Big Mooney. Big Mooney? Kind of made the big pancake. The block there by the left guard, Joe Looney. Looney. Pancakes a guy and opens it up. When I saw him make that pancake, I knew I was going to score. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have a choice. Great fella did your thing. Great play call by Kelly. Everyone did their jobs right there. Holy cow, what a block he threw. Joe kills him, I don't like pink. He screams him out. Before we do go, I will look at Ezekiel Elliott's stats. Because if I don't, the Cowboys fans out there will never let me live it down. Ezekiel Elijah Elliott 
is 25 years of age. He's fucking young. He's six foot even, 228 pounds. Six foot even, 228 pounds as a running back. That is absolutely perfect. Honestly. Three Pro Bowls, 2016, 18, and 19. He's been a Dallas Cowboy ever since getting picked up in the first round of the 2016 draft with the fourth pick. Played three seasons at Ohio State. Total of 35 games. 3,961 rushing yards. That's an average of over 100 per game. Just let that sink in. He's got a 40 yard dash from the NFL combine of 447, a vertical of 32.5, broad jump of 9 foot 10, 447. Yeah, you don't want to be tackling him in the hole. Nah, no, you don't. So, as far as this very moment, we're talking the 23rd of December at 2.40 p.m. He's played 69 total games, all for Dallas, 69 games started. He's got 6,237 rushing yards in 69 games, 234 receptions for 1,904 receiving yards at an average of 8.1 and a total of 10 receiving touchdowns. So he, scored a, so he scored a total of 55 touchdowns in the NFL in 69 games. Now as far as the strike rate's concerned, that's up there. He came into the league in his rookie season and smashed it. 322 attempts for 1,631 yards. He got 983 in his second year in 2017. 2018, he got 1,434. 2019, the season that we're watching right now, he got 1,357. And this year, through 13 games, he's got 832 and five touchdowns. His first year in the league, his rookie year, can he repeat that? Can he ever repeat that? I don't know if he can. I don't know if he can. He got 322 attempts. Now if we're talking about per game, that is, in a 15 game season, that's over 20 attempts per game, every single game. Now if you're sharing the ball between two running backs, that ain't going to happen. But if you've only got the one, you might have a chance. But at the end of the day, it's not about the attempts, it's about the average yards per attempt. And that year, he averaged, on 322 attempts, 5.1 yards per attempt. That's fucking insane. 15 rushing touchdowns. I've got to watch those highlights, but we're not going to do it today. And we're not going to do it tomorrow. In the next video, guys, we're looking at the guy with the biggest and thickest neck I've ever seen in my entire life. It's Cameron Jordan. I can't wait. He's a Saints player. He's a defensive end. He's going to be on the biggest side of defensive ends looking at his neck, although I haven't looked up his stats yet. And if he could just open his eyes, that'd be really nice. Um, guys, I'm having fun with this. We've got 23 more players to go. I'm going to continue rolling for as long as I can. Your support means the world. A like goes a hell of a long way. If you've enjoyed this one, please like it. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.